Hi, my name is Kip Heath with Wildwood Float Trips from Monticello, Minnesota. And today we're going to talk about your basic smallmouth setup. What it takes to get the job done up here in the North Woods is usually a seven or eight weight rod. Uh, we'd like to fish bigger flies. As you can see, some of these are pretty good size. Most of them are saltwater patterns that we use. These are our minnow patterns typically used. And when we go up top, I'm using basically a popper of some kind or a deer hair diver. And because of the big flies and the big rods, I like to use really aggressive fly lines. Uh, the real smallmouth is a very, very good line, as is the Scientific Angler's Titan Taper. It's a great line, it really loads the rod, and I've been using it for like two years now, and it's, it's a dynamite line. They're both great. I use just basically a nine foot, 10 pound bass leader. And the reason I use the bass leader is because of the heavy butt section. It'll turn over your big fly a lot easier especially when that wind starts to blow on our bigger rivers in the north. I'll just use my leader fresh out of the bag. I won't put any tippet on it right away. If I do get down to the tippet, I'll use a 10 pound Maximum Chameleon. It's brown in color, so our tan and stained waters here in the north, it virtually disappears. And if I start getting a lot of pike bite off, small hammer handle pike, I'll switch to a 12 pound floral carbon, and that usually cuts my bite offs in half. So if I'm replacing my tippet, I use a Pretty simple, strong, strong knot called the double uni. I think it's the best knot out there for attaching tippet of any size. So I'll lay the two lines together, form a loop, and now I take my tag end and I wrap around both of the leader materials. And I'll wrap probably four to five times with the smaller 10 pound line. If I'm musky fishing, I'll only wrap usually three, so I don't want a real big bulky knot. So I pull that tight, and I'll do the same with the tippet end, or with the leader end. Now I have two knots. Most of the time, I'll moisten them a little bit, just so they don't burn. Now I slide those two together. Now I have a knot where the two knots are bumping up against each other. There's really no pinch point whatsoever, and it takes a lot to break that knot. Okay, now we simply trim the tag ends. Now, to attach the fly, I always use a loop knot, always. When I'm smallmouth fishing, musky fishing, pike fishing, I always use a loop knot. It gives the fly that much more action. So basically what we're doing, we're tying an overhand knot into the tippet. As you see, pick up my fly. Now I pull that knot all the way down to the hook eye. Now I turn my fly two or three times, take the tag, go through the overhand knot, hold the tag and pull tight. Now I have a perfect loop knot. That fly can dance, stall, do whatever it has to do to try to trigger a strike. I learned this knot from a tarpon guide, and I've never had that top knot break. If it breaks, it usually breaks in here where the fish nicks it with its teeth, mostly pike. This is our basic setup. If you have any questions, please contact us at wildwoodfloattrips.com, and we'd be more than happy to help. Have a great day out in the water. Thank you.